There's only one weapon I haven't pack-a-punched in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies yet. It's the new HMR9 SMG, and I've heard some really good things about it. So we're going to unlock it, pack it, max it, and try it against a bunch of different zombies, including the Red Worm World boss fight. If you want to see any more pack-a-punch testing videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. First, to unlock the new SMG, you'll find it in the Battle Pass tab in this sector right here. There's four different challenges. Two of them unlock aftermarket parts. One of them gets you an emblem, and then one of them gets you a double Battle Pass XP token. Once you've done these four challenges, you can do the fifth and final challenge to get the weapon. The last challenge we have to do to unlock the SMG is to kill 20 special zombies while moving with an SMG. So tier two x fill, move with an SMG, kill the bosses. Is there a boss? Oh, 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 just chilling inside. I'll take you, my boss. Kills while moving, kills while moving. Oh, HVT sector reward. Boom, SMG unlocked. All right, HMR9, let's see what you got. Decent looking iron sights. One of the camo challenges we have to do is killing bots, so we might as well uh, take these out while we're here. Ooh, the base form has a decent amount of recoil. Then again, I am playing on controller, which I normally don't do for zombies, so... Oh, it's actually not that bad. Never mind. Never mind, I was just shooting up in the air. It's very aim punchy. But luckily, when you pack a punch weapons and zombies, most of the recoil goes away, so it's not going to be oh, an issue. We need a bigger mag, though. This thing, um, a bullet's de disappear. Boom, level nine. Mercenaries, mercenaries. Put on cryo freeze because there's a camo challenge for that. Some free perks. I'll take these. There we go. Protect the server. I can't tell you the last time I did one of these contracts. Pretty much only when you need bot kills. Activate the last reactor. Yeah, we we, uh, we need to get speed call. This thing's got a pretty pretty slow reload time for how quick the bullets disappear. Playing reload simulator right now. You know, am I just dumb? This is not a contract that spawns bots. It does. Oh, it does. Win. Oh, I gotta begin the trans, dude. I didn't even I didn't even start the upload. Oh, uh, maybe why the mercs aren't spawning. Okay, this build not gonna help me at range. When I say this build, uh, it is no build. It's the default version with no attachments. Technically a build. Ah, no! Get off my server! This is why the servers keep crashing. The mercs keep shooting them. No! Oh, come on. It has been so long since I played on a controller and zombies. Level 10? No, they destroyed with a nit. Well, no reward for us. Dude, I want a bigger magazine on this so bad. Oh, reload with speed call. Oh my God, it's so fast now. Oh, wait, wait, why is it? Hello? My hand was disappearing when I would shoot. Yeah, what the heck? Sometimes it's just better not to question. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take it. There we go on common tier. Time for pack one. What is the pack name? The HR mile per hour 9,000. That's, that's a lot of mile per hour. Now our magazine size is 60. Way less reloading for us. Yep, let's do a bounty. Oh, I'm in Ooh. Then again, it's pack one and it's uncommon. So not too impressed yet, but promising. All right, there's a lot of combat going on down there. When in doubt, spam ADS on controller with that shot. Oh, it's so nice being able to do this. This is what I'm missing out by playing mouse and keyboard on zombies. All right, mercenaries, I'm coming to stronger hold. Oh, there we go. Crimson Sands unlocked. This thing's doing pretty good in tier two. Just packed one. I can already tell from my very limited time using this weapon, it's way better than the new LMG in zombies. Out of the two new weapons, this is definitely the better one. Doesn't matter because I'm still garbage. Probably shouldn't have done a tier two stronghold with a pack one weapon. It's good, but this was just a dumb idea. Oh, and my gas mask broke. Cool. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to play this smart and we're going to leave. Doesn't matter how close we are to taking all the spores. It is not worth it. Thank you. But um, I've enjoyed my time at the party, but I must go. Let's go steal Craig skills. Just keep ADSing. Oh, this is so nice. Honestly, farming on... Oh, Creaseless Agony unlocked. What a name. 250 kills with the weapon. Creaseless Agony. Are you sure it's not Creaseless Agony? No, it was Creaseless. Dude, I gotta start farming more on controller. This uh, this ADS spam, this is kind of fire for just mindlessly killing. Like, oh my, dude, what am I... What have I been doing? Legitimately just gotta spam ADS and it's gonna lock on to everything near you. 14... Burning Blur Unlocked. 250 kills with the Cryo Freeze Ammo Mod. Oh, and bullets would be nice. Bullets would be nice. Bullets would be nice. Level 18. Max rank. Last challenge is to get Slaughter Medals, which is 10 rapid kills five times. There we go. Empty Screams Unlocked. And our ride is here. All the camos for the new SMG done in one game. Oh, wow. And the zone's coming in. I didn't even know that. Well, I'm, I'm glad we finished it. Getting out by the, uh, the nose on our hair. The... the the hair on her 
nose. Full camo sweep and gold too. Surprisingly, the camos that come with this blueprint actually aren't that bad. There's Ceaseless Agony, which is red skulls that still have the eyeballs in. Interesting. Crimson Sands, also very solid as well. The other two are mid though. And massive surprise, the gold camo on this weapon looks like the gold camo. Now we've got to get 300 kills with it being packed. Technically for the gold camo, we don't even need to punch the pack a bunch of machine. It's still going to count, but I, I just, you know, we spent a bunch of time grinding for this camo. I want to use it. All right, let's find ourselves a handy dandy farming contract. And uh, yeah, there's uh, absolutely none nearby. Wow. I have got to get 300 kills. Ah, yeah, I, I am not good with controller on on zombies but the bright side of being on controller is that we can do this now which you can't do this on mouse and keyboard there's actually a button to switch between first person and third person on controller uh but mouse and keyboard doesn't have this option you can't even set it as a keybind but on uh can any controller if you just hold down on d-pad boom first person hold back boom third person and it looks sick useful not not really but cool eh, yeah let you know if you make car noises it goes faster but it can only be the passenger that makes them make it go faster uh, louder it it, it it the speed's based off of how loud you are with the car noise my mic doesn't pick up when i do noise like that <laughs> where the spawns where the spawns where the spawns at you know it's not great but i only gotta get 300 kills so that's right funnel them all through the doorway we're just gonna rinse and repeat no 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 not this doorway all through the same doorway so i don't have to turn around you guys do not get the memo oh weapon challenge completed which also means Oh no. Hold on. Forgot we got some kills before we pack a punched it. Which also means Zircon Scale Unlocked. Now let's go all the way across the entire map again because we got to get 10 special kills. Although the issue is, is this is a tier one pack. Oh God. Almost like if I would have upgraded my weapon a little bit more, I'd be better at this. Come on, Mangler. Well, all that for one Mangler takedown. Ah. It gets the job done. Ah! Mangler down. Mangler's just walking away. He doesn't want none of this. Now I'm out of ammo. Only if there was an ammo crate right outside of the stadium where I could just go and grab it and head back in. There we go. Serpent tonight done, which also means Borealis done as well, but that one doesn't pop up, unfortunately. Borealis acquired. Now let's get it ready to take it to the tier three zone. We've also now got the 50 round mag on it, so we should have to reload a lot less, which is going to be super helpful. Big mag, always good in zombies. Okay, but you... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Mm, yeah. Nope. Actually, unpack a punched, unupgraded. This is actually usable in the tier two zone. We're able to take out and kill tier two zombies, not super quickly, but decently for not being packed. Normally, if you take a non pack a punch, non upgraded weapon in tier two, you ain't doing nothing except running. All right, excuse me. Here we go. Tier three pack. Here it is the new DLC SMG fully maxed out in zombies. Let's see how it takes out tier three zombies. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Look at how quickly we reload with Speed Cola 2. Now we've got 100 bullets when packed. So that's a lot of damage we can deal. And then boop, boop, quick reload and shooting again. That is a pretty quick reload speed for 100 bullets to be in the gun. Oh, and we're frying through the zombies. Ooh, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Hit fire a little bit. Take out the mimic. Keep proceeding to shoot. Oh, I really like the movement speed on this. So fluid. We can go from hit firing to ADS. Mangler! Oh, wow. We're not even shooting him in the cannon. Huh. Oh, there's a Megaton. Okay, we don't have ammo, though. We don't have ammo. Don't panic. Don't panic. Thank you very much. All right, Mega Abomination. Just you and me, buddy. Come on, open. Open. Yeah. Always so fun and nice using an SMG. The strafing speed you get, being able to go from hip fire to ADS really smoothly. Dude, this thing's actually taking them out really quickly for an SMG. Obviously, it's not taking them out as fast as the shotguns or any of the weapons that are crazy broken for bosses. But for a bullet weapon that's really good at taking out zombies too, I'm impressed. Although I'm already out of ammo and heading back to get more. So this might be a weapon that's bad on ammo. And yeah, looking at the ammo count, that's the first time I'm checking at it. We've got 100 rounds in the magazine, but then we've only got 600 reserve. And of course, we went to go get ammo. The Mega Abomination despawned. <sighs> and it looks like everything else despawned with it. Hello? Oh, and there he is again. So this SMG has great damage, great mobility, overall a great weapon. The really big downside of it is just the ammo that you have in reserve. It's a weapon where you're going to constantly have to be going to ammo crates. And that's not the worst downside to have. There's a lot of different downsides weapons can have in this mode. 
And one of the easiest to get around is where it just runs out of ammo a lot because you could always just go to an ammo crate and there's ammo crates all over the map. So yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's easy to get past. And Mega Abomination gone. I'm actually really shocked this weapon's performing this well in the tier three zone. That's because a lot of the other stuff we've got recently has kind of been mid. All the other aftermarket parts we've got have kind of just been okay. Even the Sidewinder LMG, it's good, but it's not amazing. The new DLC LMG was really disappointing. So this is the first weapon we've been able to take into zombies where I'm like, yeah, I could see myself using this a lot. Like this is a very nice, effective, and easy weapon to use. Oh, cool. Stormcaller's in the tier three zone. Let's see if this can do anything to Stormcaller. Oh, we'll take it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's doing great, but we're almost running out of ammo already. And I don't want to kill these zombies right now. I really hope with season two, they add a new boss in because I am, I'm getting pretty tired testing things against the red worm. This is kind of the final boss in the game. And I hope when season two comes, there is a new final boss. So we can take anytime we're doing a pack of much testing video, we can take it versus whatever that is. Because waiting the entire game for the gas to come in to get all the flash drives, it takes um it takes a toll and it is by far the longest part of the recording even though it's just a small little segment i guess while we're waiting for the worm again we might as well go ahead and start grinding some of the ultra mastery for this weapon and this build with the hip fire uh is really easy to farm because we have 100 bullets and then as soon as we run out real quick reload and our bolts and hip fire for this being the new atlas contract it's actually pretty good at farming not sure why they didn't include this with the season one loaded patch notes but they added in a new atlas contract location uh and this is it and farming here not, not the best in the game, but another very solid one if you're just trying to rack out a ton of kills in a quick amount of time. You know, why even ADS when the hip fire is so good? And why, why, why even use iron sights if they're not needed? Oh, Surfer tonight, done! Two out of four mastery challenges done on this weapon. It's a bird! It's a plane! Oh, oh no, it's just Greg, never mind. Oh, but guess what he has? The weapon we're working on, but this time, Borealis. So now we gotta get the Borealis kills. Although, Craig's build... Eh. Orialis mastery done. Being a little bit efficient today. Normally we just grind out the cambos when a new weapon comes out and then test against the worm, but we've um we've had some issues with the worm. So not only have we grind out the cambos, we're getting we're getting the ultra mastery stuff too. What is this? Here's glows though. Ooh, pretty. Oh, mine doesn't glow. I think I'll just stay up here till the boss fight starts. Wake me up when it's uh, time to go. Oh, there he is. Please don't insta die. Please don't insta die. All right, let's go. Woo! I told you it was going to be pretty good, Craig. I told you it was going to be good. I think this might be the second best SMG. I think the swarm's better than this, but if you're not using the Akimbo swarms or the, just the single swarm, I think this is this is definitely up there. I haven't really fully tested out every Modern Warfare 2 SMG, so there might be some hidden bangers in there. I'm glad we're finally actually going to be able to beat the worm. The last three times we've done this, we failed. Because one, we had a really bad weapon. The other time we got next to no time. Like, it has been a bit since we've got just an easy nice worm dub and oh i wish when you took out the worm it showed you how much damage everyone did so we could laugh at the people who do the little amount of damage which would probably be me yeah this weapon it's really in tier three it was melting them too melts in tier three melts all the bosses the only downside of this weapon is the reserve ammo that's the one trade-off you have i like how good it is at hip fire like you can have a build that's really good at ads and hip fire so you can back in and out you can train you know, backup shoot zombies ADS when you need to. Like, it is a very smooth, just buttery smooth weapon. You know what? He has not swallowed me once this fight. Ah! Well, it happened. Decoys are a lot more helpful in this boss fight now that they have those extra two seconds. Like, I'm constantly just laying down decoy fire in the middle. Oh, the hit fire is so good for those orbs. Am I swallowed again? Yeah, his throat game in season one reloaded is insane. Boom, worm killed. Look at him fall. Look at him fall. I think it's the first time we've actually killed him this season. Well, I guess it is time for us to leave this cruel world. Oh, Worm has no gag reflex. Not in this update. Here's the class setup I was using at the end of the video for the HMR9. We don't have any muzzle, no barrel, no under barrel. For the laser, we have this laser right here. For the stock, we've got the hatchlet light stock. For the rear grip, we've got the PCS9 assault grip. Uh, we've got the 50 round drum mag, which is huge. This is the most important attachment. Then I am running high grain ammunition. However, I'm not running this to make the weapon better. I'm legitimately just running it so I could put tracers on it. So, um, you know, maybe don't put this on instead of putting that on. Maybe put a muzzle or an under barrel or an optic if you don't like the iron sights. This is just the build that I preferred. With that, guys, 
highly recommend unlocking the HMR9. This is a great weapon to use in zombies. Not the single best weapon in the entire game, but it's one of the best SMGs. This fry zombies in the tier three, great for bosses, can take out the worm. Uh, and if you don't have Borealis, it's another weapon you can get gold and get closer to doing that if you want to do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more pack a punch testing videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button and let me know what weapon you want to see us test out next. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these camels.